Hey T-Boneless. I hope you're not working too hard today. And I actually hope you're having a better day, honestly. And I wish you could humble yourself like your uh, hillbilly friend did. I admire him so much. For I know it was hard for him. And he made a video this morning and humbled himself and apologized to me for the um, threats of violence that were made in one of his videos. And I just want to say, hey, hillbilly, apology accepted. And I hope you accept mine as well for being rude. And defending myself. You know, most people around here, all us hillbillies around here in Kentucky, most of us are good people. But there are some out there that would smack a woman in the mouth. Uh, I've seen it. I, you know, they're out there. So you can't ever be too careful. But anyway, anyway T-Boneless, yeah, I wish you could be, I wish you could humble yourself like that and really self-examine and, um, you know, instead of just opening the Bible and uplifting yourself in front of the camera. But we're not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk a little bit about how I felt about the video Hillbilly made. I thought it was awesome, but I can't agree with all of it. And the part I can't agree with is the part where I should just keep my opinions to myself. Uh, because... After, especially after the past three years, what all we've been through, if, if you didn't have a critical thought or a critical opinion and didn't express it, um, you could be dying suddenly right now. Just going with the flow, uh, never speaking out against anything. That's not, how, that's not what we're here for. It's a warfare. It's a spiritual warfare. And when you see something going on for a lengthy period of time and you see people being scammed or manipulated or lied to um, and you just see all these other traits of uh, future faking and the blame shifting and you see all this going on for, you know, such a lengthy period of time and you don't say anything and you just look the other way, that's not how we should be acting as Christians. Um... Like I said, especially after the past three years, you need to have critical thoughts and opinions if you want to survive in this world. Um, but anyway, I can't speak it as well as, um, as this guy in this video. I'm going to drop this link in, in this video in the description and in the comments. And I would appreciate if everybody watching this video would watch that video. Um, because... It pretty much explains why we shouldn't be keeping our mouth shut. So, anyway, Hillbilly, I respect you. I appreciate it, and I accept your apology, and I hope you feel the same way about me. Y'all have a great day. Later, y'all.